Okay, so this is our part in SolidWorks and we have to save it in the type IGS. Now we create a new file in Patron and we have to import this part. We're going to name it support and we're going to raise the past files that are in the carpet. Now we're going to import the part. We select IGS and click on the checkbox next to import to pair solid. Click on OK and this is our same part that we had in SolidWorks. Uh, now we have to create the mesh, the correct mesh for this type and we go to action create object mesh type solid and we're gonna get the dead mesh then for the solid one with the value of 70.75 and we apply that. Now we have to create the loads that are, are going to act in the part and we start with the uh, total load which we are going to call force and it's going to be a force of 7000 and because it's going on the x axis it's going to be positive 0 on y and 0 in z click on ok and then we select the application region and those are the faces those ones we select one add and then we select the other one and also we add it then click on ok once we apply it it's going to appear then we have to create the displacement constraints which we are going to call fixed translations we're going to have zero in x y and z okay and we select the two holes which are going to be fixed we add them and then we click OK. Now it's time to create the properties for this part. And we go to isotropic. Then we are going to call the material name aluminium AL. Input properties. We set the elastic modulus. Then is 6 and the portion radio 0.3. Then we apply it and it's going to appear in the list. Now we select a solid to create the properties for the material. We're going to add it. So it's going to call AL. And then we select the aluminum. Is it okay? The application region is going to be the solid one and then we apply it. Now we go to the analysis, we create an the entire model analysis. We have to select uh, it's not there, it's in translation parameters. We're going to change to small that okay solution type is 101, we already checked that and then we go to apply 
I already create something so let's just make that and we have to open with Nastran to in order to create the XDB file but I already did it so I, uh, I thought it wasn't necessary but now we're going to have some problems so I will have to figure it out and then come back again so yeah it's not going to be on the list so I will have to go all the way back to Nastran and do what I didn't did now there it is so we select that click on OK and I forgot to click on apply so once I go to results there's going to be in blank so I have to go back to analysis and select the file again and then apply so okay there it is and now we're going to have now we want to check the stress tensor and the displacement um, translational so with the next view we're going to realize how much deformation we get and that's it thank you very much